Howdy, y'all. Joe Hills here, recording as I always do in Nashville, Tennessee. And today on the Hermitcraft server, I'm building me a rail line rail stop. Now, this rail line goes all the way back to the spawn and a bunch of other places. This one over here goes all the way out to Cilantro's base. Here's my base. What I figure I want to have as the behavior of this rail line is that anytime that somebody comes down the rail from spawn or from Cilantro's, it stops them right here, and then they have the opportunity to either disembark from the rail cart and go visit my little base over here of wonders and joy, or they can choose to continue their journey. Now, the way I have it set up, by default with the way the, uh, I don't know, southwest or northeast rule or whatever, they keep rotating Minecraft, but when somebody comes down this track without anything special happening, they're automatically going to turn in here. Now, if they come down from Cilantro's base in this area, they would normally just skip that. So what I've done is I've hooked up detector rails here to redstone that then powers this and, um, you know, switches it so it pushes them toward my little spur. So, let, let me just show you that real quick. Just give this a little nudge. That lights up. Pushes them right into here. Excellent. So now, at this point, if I want to, I can press this button which powers only this redstone powder right here on the ground. And you'll see that that just pushes the cart along back toward, toward the spawn. Now, this redstone on this side, if I light that up, you'll see goes underground and also activates the turn-in mechanism as well as the powered rail here. So, what that does, if I just put the cart back, lay it down to sleep here on this beautiful rail, there we are cart laid down to sleep. What? Why didn't it activate? Dang it. No. Cart. No. No, 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 no. Bad. Let's try this again. So if I put the cart there, I power that. Is that for some reason not powering the redstone anymore? Hmm. What would, what could I do to fix that? I guess I could go ahead and add some blocks around this way and maybe by adding redstone here underneath the button and then like over to here somehow like adding this stairwell or adding a step here that will then allow that to go straight in and down. There we are, which it now hits me in the body, which hurt. It didn't hurt in the game. It hurt my feelings. No, that's the rail line that I didn't break. I want that cart back. I need it. Come to me, cart. Wonderful. So, my plan at this point is essentially going to be to pretty this up. Now, the way we're doing this, the um, general rail system has this entire, like, half slab pavement over it. So, I can essentially... Oh, probably should put the rails in first. Yeah. Rails in here. Boom. Done. So that, like so, will provide me with a kind of bridge over which I will continue here. And so then I'll put steps in right here or so. Let me make some of those real quick. This is always fun. I know you guys love it when I build upside down stairs in Minecraft. Oh wait, no, that never works. Which is why it's fun, but you guys don't actually love it. I'm just a horrible host. It's okay. Here we go. We got some right side upstairs in Minecraft. So, essentially, I'll be able to just run over this intersection. I won't be able to see any of that redstone normally. And I might have to raise the ceiling a bit. But you guys get the general idea of this mechanism. So, actually, here's the bigger problem, is when I show up here... There's no good way because the buttons are already on the sides here. There's nowhere good for me to put stairs back up because I'm going to be running into the redstone that powers that rail. Now, I could run the redstone under the rail, but from what I've seen on this server, it's a little bit too laggy um, when I press the button for it to be worthwhile. So let's evaluate alternate designs. What I can actually do instead... Whoops, not going to do that is I can put up 
bigger steps on either side here, maybe. And then go over the buttons. Here we are, like so. And then have... Wait, could I get out of the cart at that point, though? Yeah, I could get out of the cart. Okay. So I could come around to here, maybe. And have a, a stairwell back up along the middle. So if I just go ahead and plant this here like so. Whoops, wrong slab, stairs. I'm using a new mouse, I'm not used to it yet. It's got a different track wheel thing. We are getting closer to solving this problem. New problem is the ceiling's too low, but that's a easily fixed one. Just knock around with it like that. Just bat some extra nether rat, nether rack into place. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, we're gonna have to leave that half slab there, so that that gap will be visible to indicate where the station is. And this weird reverse stairwell thing, I don't think I like it. I think I want to have the stairs in the same place, so you don't have to move diagonally to go from one to the other. So let's go ahead and extend this out a wee bit more. So it's a little bit tight when you get out of the rail cart. This is not the most happening, beautiful station ever. I'm probably going to have to figure out some sort of better long-term solution. But anyway, either way, it'll work for right now. No, it won't, because I'm bumping my head. It'll work after I'm done bumping my head and blocking all this off. But cool. So we now have a functioning... Mine track station thing here that starts and stops at my base either way and continues in either direction indefinitely. Just the way that Joe intended. Uh oh, a zombie pig man just killed Zo Joe Nagee. If he was anywhere near me, that pig man might now be mad at me. Let's uh see if this is what the case is. Nope, good. No zombie pigmen mad at me. Well, what I've done is I've continued the little road here down Cilantro's tunnel, or down towards Cilantro's base. I had to get rid of that awesome railing, beautiful, beautiful bridge that I'd built. It was fun while it lasted, but it just wasn't going to be um, compatible with the new design here. And what I've also done is I have... Uh, created a more welcoming little area. I bumped this back one with an additional powered rail, and uh, I'm going to put signs like so that say like to hub done. And uh, so yeah, I figure out this way um, people can run over here and come back down to my base. I'm going to go ahead and expand this whole area and create the, a more beautiful foyer. But in the very least, I have a working rail line that if people don't have carts, they can run along. It's not the most beautiful on the right side here, but I've got a stairwell that goes here. And so people can just follow this road from Hypno's base from the spawn to my place, even without a cart. So I think it's a pretty good hybridized system. It's not quite as... Well, we'll have to figure out how elegant we can make the rail stop over here. Hypno's probably going to be better at that than I am, because he likes watching tutorials, and I just made that up from my head. But Oh, Jassassin is killed again by Zombie Pigman. Let's rejoice in his slaying. Actually, I don't really mind his living. I'd rather he be alive. You'll see that horrible bridge thing, that overpass I'd built? Completely stupid. I, I looked at this and I was just like, wait, do I really need to go all the way up there to get back over to here? No, 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 no. I just need to build a little stairwell along the side here. And I'm thinking that I'm going to do a parallel structure on this side um, over here. Although this wall kind of goes out into uh, open space. So it's, a, well, it's not quite entirely open space, but it's a little bit harder to build. Uh, without, um, you know, running into gas and stuff. So I was going to wait. Ooh. He is just getting slain by a zombie pigman left, right, and or center. Bring an iron golem. So that's the best I can offer him. A wee bit of advice from Joe Hills. 
When you're having trouble with the pigman, you bring the iron golem. One, two, three. And then we've got the half slabs. Ooh, that did not go well for him either here, as well as here and here. Yeah, this is a way, way nicer design. I'm a lot happier with this. I'm thinking I'll add uh, more stuff around here and kind of create like a travel center for people who are visiting my area of the map. I don't, ha I don't know what I'm going to put in there. Like, maybe stuff like you'd have in a visitor center for like, Welcome to Virginia, home of Thomas Edison. Not really. More Jefferson than Edison, but you get the idea. Oh, now I'm almost nearly about to kill myself by falling off the nether. And I hear a ghast. So let's not anger the ghast. Okay, so the stairs come up here, and then they open out one, it looks like. So this is now where I need to put the next... Dang it, chest! I know young men like to look at you, but you're not helping me here. There we go. This is not a reply girl video. Go away. Okay. So yeah, so this station now looks more like a station. I'll probably swap some of these bricks out with different colored bricks to uh, make it more visually appealing. But in general, I'm pretty satisfied with the progress I've made. So anyway, until next time, y'all, this is Joe Hills from Nashville, Tennessee. Keep adventuring.